everybody, this is me and today I have the most requested video I have ever been asked to do and that is a saddle pad collection. Now before the video even starts, you don't even need to tell me, I know I have way too many saddle pads but the reason why is because I'm an equestrian YouTuber so I always like to try out different saddle pads from different brands and tell you guys what I think of them so that's what I thought I would sort of do in today's video. I always try and make my videos as appealing and eye-catching for you guys as possible, so having lots of different bright saddle pads as well really helps. So, let's get into the video. <laughs> okay, so this is actually my first ever saddle pad. It's just plain white, and it's actually one of my least favourite ones, just because it's white and it makes Casper look yellow because he's a grey. Also, you can see it gets dirty so easily. So I only usually wear this for like, I used to wear this for things like shows and stuff, but now I don't really use it very often just because it makes him look so dirty, which is really not what you want to have at a show. And this one is just in a GP shape. This next one is from Horse Health or Lemieux and this is in the colour beige and it makes Casper look so white because it is sort of a beigey off whitey creamy colour. And um, I really like these saddle pads because they have the short billet straps and they're in the close contact shape. So this one definitely is really nice for shows or for like show jumping clinics and things. So this saddle pad I would definitely recommend to anybody who has a grey or coloured pony. So this saddle pad is actually my first ever Lemieux saddle pad and it is in the colour grey and I don't really know if you can really get this one anymore because it's one of the old style ones so it's not made of the new bamboo material. It's actually got the like wicker sort of waffle material on the underneath and it is in the lighter grey. I know that they do the suede like darker grey but I don't think they do the lighter grey anymore but I'm not 100% sure. This one I actually got at Hickstead and actually when I competed Casper at Hickstead I wore this one as well. So this saddle pad definitely has a lot of memories because I have worn it quite a few times. <laughs> Okay, so this next one is from Busa and it's actually my newest saddle pad at the moment and it is in the light grey. I love the shapes of the triangle sort of geometric shape on it and something really different about it, it has the blue and navy piping which is so cute. Okay, so this saddle pad, a lot of people actually think is from Horse Health or Lemieux when it's actually from the company Weatherbeater and it looks so similar. I love the CC shape of this in close contact. Something different about this is that where the tree or the sort of spine of the saddle pad is actually got little air holes so it's breathable which is really handy dandy. So if you want to try something different then I definitely recommend this because it is cheaper so it's better for your bank balance. But um, it's really similar also on the inside, the material on the inside is so fluffy, it feels like um, this sort of fleece material, so yeah I really enjoy using this, especially for schooling because it's black and it literally goes with everything and it's really practical. This saddle pad is Mickey's and it's in brown so it matches his brown saddle. Even though Mickey is now sort of semi-retired, I don't ride him very often, however it does look really nice. I love the piping on here because it is sort of this like white and like a lighter brown which looks really nice and fancy and really sort of stands out. And I love the patch on here and the detailing. This is from Horse Equestrian and this was from their Spirit Line which I think is now discontinued but it does look so cute on Mickey. Okay, so this saddle pad I bought actually when I went to Olympia with Scarlet back in 2016. This was my second ever Lemieux pad and this is the only brightly coloured one that I actually have a matching ear bonnet to at the moment. And this colour, oh my goodness, it looks so good on Casper being grey. Um, this purpley bluey, well it's actually called blueberry, but a lot of people get mistaken um, because sometimes the camera makes it look a bit more blue than it actually is. So some people think it's, um, it's the corn blue and some people think it's the Benetton blue, but no this is the blueberry. So the colour blueberry is now actually discontinued, which is sad because it is one of my favourite Lumiere saddle pad colours. However, you can probably find them on things like eBay or Facebook group chats, however they do sell for like a lot more than the retail price just because you can't really find them anymore, but this is definitely one of my favourite colours on Casper. This next one as well is from Horse Equestrian and this is in the Lapis Blue, I think is the colour that they called it, but um, I would say this is more like a royal blue and the piping on here is so cute because it's in like a light grey sort of blue colour and this colour just really pops on any coloured horse. So something actually quite funny about this saddle pad is it says Supreme 
on the um, little strap on the bottom there. And there is the company Supreme, which sells really expensive stuff. So that is quite funny, even though um, I've literally all of my horse equestrian saddle pads I do buy in the sale, just because they have like so many sales on and things. Um, and these are definitely a lot cheaper than the average saddle pad. They're a bit like the Dover saddle saddlery equestrian saddle pads, but obviously I don't have any of those because you can't get Dover saddle pads in the UK. But um, these are very similar and I just love the basicness of it, but also the bright colour. So this is the Lumia Cornflower Blue or Corn Blue. It is quite similar to the Blueberry. I'd say it's like a baby blue, but with like a hint of lilac. So it is quite difficult to find things that match this perfectly. However, Primark actually have t-shirts and hoodies that match this really well. So if you're looking for something to match, then that's the place to go. <laughs> Okay, so this saddle pad was actually my first ever brightly coloured saddle pad and this was originally in the size full slash cob. However, it did shrink in the wash, so it's now more of a size pony. So this is the one I use on Mickey. It's in the beautiful turquoise blue and this is from the company Roma and on the inside here it's all fluffy which is cute it is very dirty because this is like one of my oldest ones probably needs to go in the wash but it does it is such a nice color especially with the grays so this saddle pad you guys probably haven't seen that much because I've only actually used it in one vlog and that was the one when I did the bending poles sort of exercise and this is actually from Weatherbeater, it does look like a Lemieux saddle pad. So this colour I would describe it as in between the Lemieux Peacock and the Lemieux Turquoise and the Lemieux Turquoise is actually discontinued so if you are looking for a colour very similar I would highly re recommend this one from Weatherbeater because I really liked my black Weatherbeater one so I went for this one as well because it has the air mesh on the top. I also love that it's in the CC shape and has the little covering bits to protect your saddle pad from the girth and as well it just pops on Casper, it looks so nice. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favourites. This saddle pad I get asked all the time where it's from and it's from the company Brilla. It's in this gorgeous mint green colour so it's very different and out there but because it's sort of like a pastely colour it does look very pretty on a grey. Um, again it's in sort of a CC cut shape so sort of close contact shape um, in size full. And this saddle pad actually reminds me of back in the day when I had my GCSEs um, in year 11 because that's the sort of time where I bought this and I wore this so many times over the summer after my GCSE exams. So yeah, it sort of makes me think of that which, you know, probably isn't great, but um, no, it makes me think of the great summer I had. So yeah, definitely a very pretty one. <laughs> This is my Pony Club saddle pad and it is in the hunter green because that is my Pony Club colours. The company actually says on the spine here which is from Rheingold and then on the other side it just says Pony Club in the neon orange which probably doesn't go very well with green but um, it does stand out. So yeah, I actually think this colour looks so nice on Casper. I just don't wear it very often because it is my Pony Club one but yeah. This saddle pad again is from Lumia, surprise surprise. This is actually the olive green and I have been wanting a saddle pad this sort of colour for a while because back in the day Horse Equestrian actually had one very similar colour called Lycan and I just thought it looked so nice, you know, riding in the countryside with the matching green and like, you know, it just is, it's not, it's like a bright colour but it's not bright at the same time, like it's colourful but it's not too out there. So this one I actually used in my autumn cinematic video and this this looks so nice on Casper and also I think it goes really nicely with when it's like winter and things as well so I think this looks so nice on Casper. This saddle pad is from Horse Hoods and again I love the shape of these saddle pads in the CC shape. Again it's um it is black but it has the out there green so if you want to have something that's sort of more plain but with like a hint of colour definitely recommend these saddle pads they are so pretty so the material on the inside is actually it feels so nice it's that moisture sort of wicking material and I love how it's been stitched up that it has little rectangles and their logo is so adorable This saddle pad is actually really old. Again, it's one of my like first brightly colored saddle pads. So this one again is from Horse Equestrian and it has the little Supreme on the bottom there. And this I think was in the color lime green. However, I wouldn't really call it a lime green. I'd call it a sort of in between, like I'd say like it's sort of like in between like a lemony green. It's like a greeny yellow basically. 
Um, and it's, I'd say it's kind of like the colour of a tennis ball, but the reason most people probably wouldn't go for such a bright out there colour like this, but I usually use the saddle pad when I ride Casper on the road because it matches my high-vis vest. So, you know, I'm not, so I'm really bright, the cars can see me, even though it's not reflective, it does look just really nice with the high-vis vest because, you know, it's matchy. But yeah, no, this saddle pad, as you can see, it's got some stainage and dirt on it, it has been well loved, but I definitely say this is one of my favourites. Also, the binding is grey, which is so pretty, with Casper being a grey as well. So this saddle pad has definitely been worn a lot. This is the Lumia Lime Green. I've already talked about this in my Burley Tack haul because I got this at Burley. And um, this saddle pad, again, I've talked about how it will brighten up my spirits, hopefully, over the winter because it is such a nice bright colour because all the leaves are now gone from the trees, so you don't really see that much greenery. However, I think this will look so nice on Casper when it's spring and all the like new green leaves come through, so I can't wait to see what he looks like in spring in this saddle pad. This saddle pad, again, is one of the ones that I get asked all the time where it's from. And I think it's because the Lemieux mustard is now discontinued, so you can't get it anymore. And this is actually, again, from Brilla. And I was actually, like, when mustard was... When mustard was available, I always thought, no, I can't get mustard for Casper. He'll look like a fried egg because they'll, because like the saddle pad will look like the yolk, and with him being a grey, he'll look like the sort of white bit. And I thought, you know what? I think the saddle pad will look so nice on him in the autumn. So as soon as mustard went discontinued, I thought, oh no, mustard might actually look quite nice on Casper, even though it might look like a fried egg. It would look really nice with all the autumn yellow golden leaves and things. So I was hunting down for a mustard saddle pad for ages and then I found this one. It is actually in the colour ochre but I'd say it's like the Lemure mustard but like a slightly more mustardy or slightly more orangey. I'd say the Lemure mustard if you could did compare it with this would look more like yellowy but this saddle pad looks so nice on Casper. I used it in my beach video and when we were riding on the beach when like the golden like sun was rising and just looked so pretty. So yeah, greys in mustard, they can pull it off. They might look like a fried egg, but I think they actually look really nice in them. This is the Lemure Burnt Orange. Sometimes on camera it does look more red and then sometimes it looks more orange. But I'd say it's sort of like a reddy orange and it is quite similar to the Lemure Terracotta. Something different about the saddle pad compared to most Lemure saddle pads is um, the little girth protecting bit here is brown, which is different. But also this is one of the older style saddle pads. So usually it has the like velvety material on the outside. However, this one doesn't. And fun fact, this is the only saddle pad I have bought from Lemure online. The rest I've all bought at like shows and things like Hickstead, Badminton and Burley and things. Um, so yeah, this actually really pops on Casper. I wasn't really sure about orange on a grey, but um, I bought this last autumn for like my autumn video and it does look so nice on Casper. So yeah, any people with greys, orange does really pop on them. This saddle pad I actually bought this autumn because it's orange and it looks really nice with the autumn leaves. I was going to use it for my autumn cinematic video, however um, it didn't arrive in the post in time, but I did do like a little mini autumn photo shoot over on my Instagram. I've got some photos of Casper in it with the autumn leaves, which just looks so pretty. So I've never actually owned a Shockamall saddle pad before, this is my first one, and I've always like never bought one before just because I do like the CC shape personally um, more than the GP shape so when they came out with the CC shape I was like I have to try this the Aussie equestrians used to wear shock and all saddle pads all the time just maybe sort of think of that and I thought you know what I want to try one out see what it's like um, and this the, compared to Lemieux saddle pads they are definitely a lot thicker this one has the like moisture wicking material on the underneath, which is really nice. Also, it has like a really nice silver binding and trim on the outside, which Lemieux saddle pads don't have. And I wanted to try a different one because I was thinking about getting the Lemieux tangerine because they're basically the same colour. But I thought, you know what, I'll go for a Shockamore -on one and see what they're like. So this is a red John Whitaker saddle pad that you probably would have seen in one of my tack hauls. The material on the outside, again, as I've said, is so nice. It feels like this velvety material and I love the binding because it's like navy and like a silvery white colour, which is just so pretty and different. And obviously with Christmas coming up, I'm going to be using this a lot because red is such a Christmassy colour. 
Whenever I use the sample pad, I often get asked what color it is because this is actually in the berry, which is the newer Lemieux color. Um, so it's sort of got like a velvety suede finish rather than the old style saddle pads because they, I don't know if they still sell burgundy or not. However, burgundy I think is made of like a slightly different material and it is a slightly different color. This I'd say is slightly more purpley, slightly, slightly more like pinky than the burgundy and it's definitely bright. I'd say the burgundy is more browny, but they are very similar. And a little fun fact, anybody who's thinking of getting the berry, just um, bear in mind that Lemieux don't have anything else that match this, so you can't get a Lemieux ear bonnet in berry however you can in burgundy. But I do actually really like the berry colour, I think it's very pretty and it definitely pops on Casper being a grey because it is such a bold and bright colour and again this saddle pad is so nice in the autumn. I'm sure quite a lot of you who have seen my cake with pony vlog know about this saddle pad because when Mickey wears this saddle pad he is no longer Mickey. He is Michelle because um, I always get told that you know you can't boy ponies can't wear pink I think they can it's 2018 so yeah this is Vicky's Michelle saddle pad it's from horse equestrian and it's in baby pink so this saddle pad is actually in the size full however for some reason it I've lined up to my other horse equestrian saddle pads and it literally is the same size as Pony, so I don't know if um, it was shrunk in the wash or something like that because this was actually Scarlet saddle pad but obviously it was too small for Cookie she kindly gave it to me for Christmas one year and um, I really like the like plum coloured binding on the outside which is so cute also this saddle pad looks so nice with Mickey because he's a Cremello and he has his pink nose so he's sort of matchy with the saddle pad with his pink nose anyway and I absolutely love this I love the little um, logo that they have going on here and this is, again is from the spirit range and I just think it looks so cute on Mickey even though he's a gelding I think he can pull it off So this is the last saddle pad of my saddle pad collection so far. Um, again, it is in a baby sort of blush pink colour. This is in size full so it fits Casper. And I actually got this in the sale. It was only £5, which was such a bargain. I was like, I was wanting to get a pink saddle pad for Casper for so long just because Mickey looked so cute in his baby pink one. And I was like, can Casper pull off pink? Yes, you can. So um, this one I was actually going to use for doing a charity ride with Scarlet, but the weather was actually so poor we couldn't manage to go in the end. However, next year I definitely want to do another charity ride for cancer research and me and Scarlet are going to go in matching pink. And I just think this looks so nice on Casper. Um, however, I, I absolutely love the colour baby pink, but I'm not the biggest fan of like the bright, like hot pink fuchsia, fuchsia pink. So I don't think Casper could pull off like a bright hot pink, but baby pink I think you can and again it's just so pretty <laughs> so I hope you liked today's video as it was so requested and I finally got around to filming it um, but also I just like to say again I have too many saddle pads you do not need this many saddle pads I just have quite a few because of YouTube and filming and I do put out a video at least once a week so I like to shake it up and use different colors and different saddle pads and things but anyway I will also be holding a giveaway over on my Instagram page Horsehoods have very kindly let me give away a saddle pad and ear bonnet for you guys so all the information about the giveaway will be over on my Instagram page just as a thank you for supporting my channel so I really hope you guys liked today's video and I'll see you guys next time bye